Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mrs. Stogdell, and this is a screencast on how to embed a document into your student portfolio. So we are looking at that sample student template that we looked at the other day when we were in the lab. And we are going to go to the My Best Work tab and scroll down. And remember, I had showed you that book review that we embedded. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So remember, we always click on the pencil because we're going to go into edit mode. And once you click edit and you're in that edit mode, that actual document that we were looking at, it disappears. It just becomes kind of a big gray box. And that's OK. Um, it's just kind of a placeholder. So I've, you see my cursor blinking right here. I am going to go up to my menu and I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to drive and I'm going to insert a document. Now this would be a great place for you to insert um, a presentation in Google Slides or maybe something that you drew, um, maybe an image. So this is the place where you start adding all of those artifacts. We're just going to um, add a document this time. So um, I am going to just find um, a document. So just for example, I'm just going to add, I'm going to add the book for hours. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say select. Now right here where it says 600, that actually tells you how tall that document will be. You can change that, but I wouldn't make it too small because the smaller you make it in pixels, the more narrow it will be and it will be harder to see the whole document. People will have to really scroll up and down. So 400 is probably about right. So we're, that's what we're going to make it. And we're going to click Save. So it just dropped that book fair document. Um, right in there and if you notice it's all the way to the left and I like things in the middle so they look nice and tidy and I'm gonna go down here make sure all the rest of my stuff looks pretty good and so now I'm gonna click save so now I can see what it looks like and that was that book review we looked at before and here is the document that I just added and because it was landscape and because of the size that I chose, um, I'm going to have to scroll back and forth. So you may have to tinker with that size occasionally to get it to look the way you want, but that is how you embed a document into your Google site and your ePortfolio.